Hello everyone, so in today's video I am going to give you my top three tips for getting those natural, relaxed looking photos from your couple session, whether that's during your engagement session or actually on your wedding day. Hello everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Jenny and I'm a wedding photographer based in Hampshire in the UK. Um, I hope you don't mind but I have my cup of tea right here because I'm trying to keep my hands warm and uh, my throat uh, from being too dry because it's very cold here in the UK at the moment. Um, I also apologise because you might be able to hear the sound of the wind outside. Um, we've got very high winds, it's very stormy here at the moment as well. I will try to edit it out but um, hopefully you won't be able to hear it that much. In this video um, it's going to be a chatty video because I wanted to talk to you about my approach in getting relaxed looking and natural looking photos of my couples who either go on um, engagement shoots with me or um, my couples on their actual wedding day when we do their portrait session. Do please watch until the end because I will be giving you my top secret tip, my main focus for these couple sessions. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if you are nervous about having your photos taken, maybe that's one of the reasons why you're going on an engagement photo session with me or a pre-wedding session with me, then I think it actually helps to think about it in a different way. So think about it just as a low-key, relaxed, kind of catching up session with your photographer. Um, so instead of thinking about it as this stress-inducing portrait or photo session, then uh, as I said, think about it as, the, as a session where we're just going to meet up, um, we're going to go over your wedding planning and I'm going to get some information from you and the rest of the time I might take some photos. So it usually starts off quite chatty. I'm catching up with your wedding planning, what's been happening. It's also a chance to get to know a little bit more about you and your likes and dislikes in terms of photography. So it's very low stress, it's very chatty um, and you really don't have to worry about it. Now, during your wedding day, sometimes it helps to just flip the way you think about this part of the day as well. Um, so you can think about it as a chance for the two of you to talk to each other and catch up with each other because the rest of the day may be quite busy and full on. So think of this session as a little breather and just a chance for you to be with each other. So that's my first tip, is to think about this session as a catching up session and not a full blown photographic session. Now tip number two is actually to be active. Be prepared to do stuff. I will be asking you to do stuff. Now don't worry, it's not all about formal posing or anything like that. More often than not, um, we will be going on a short walk. That's what I mean partially about being active. And I'll be asking you to stop at a location, maybe somewhere nice um, with nice light and I will ask you to maybe just talk to each other in that location while I take some snaps. Now we can do more post shots if you wanted to go that route. That's entirely up to you and it very much depends on what you want to do. I can give as much direction as you need me to. And if you have your own ideas, I highly encourage you to let me know what those are so that we can try them out. That's also partly what I mean by being active. I want you to be an active participant in our uh, session. If you tell me what you're thinking, then your personality is more likely to show through the photos that we take during that time. Can you hear that sound? I really hope that these tips make sense to you. If they do, please click the like button. Right, drum roll please. This is my top secret tip. The thing that I keep in mind in every single couple session that I ever do. My main focus at these sessions is basically capturing the connection between the two of you. Everything I do is about getting the two of you to connect with one another so that I can take those photos. This is why I will ask you to look at each other, to chat with each other and maybe to have a little cuddle. 
I am trying to capture that emotional connection between the two of you. Now it's not rocket science because the couple session is meant to be about the two of you, but sometimes it's actually worth spelling out loud. So my best advice is to actually focus on each other, support each other if one or the other is feeling a little bit nervous, embrace the awkwardness if it feels a bit weird, acknowledge the weirdness and then get back to focusing on how each other are feeling. That really is the best way to come out of the session with beautiful romantic photos of the both of you. Now that's it for this video, it's short and sweet. I hope that you like some of the photos that I inserted in this video and hope that you found some of the tips useful. Do please take a look at the blog post down below, I'll put the link in the description box. In that blog post I think I have about nine steps, I have more steps uh, for you to get those natural looking, relaxed looking wedding photos or engagement photos. Do please subscribe if you like this content and please share with your friends or family if you know that they are wedding planning. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye!